The museum here in Exeter has been very fortunate having an active and very busy conservation department since the late 1960s. The department was based in the old School of Science building, which is a rather ancient and decrepit block at the back of the main museum, hidden away from public gaze. And as part of the redevelopment project, this building is being demolished to make way for a fantastic new extension for temporary exhibitions. We have obviously had to find a temporary home for the conservation department and what we have chosen to do is set up some laboratories here at the new storage facility for the museum and I'm at the moment standing in the fine art store which is just one of many spaces which have been specially built to accommodate our fantastic collections. This is a splendid harpsichord made by Vincenzo Sodi in 1782. It's being worked on by Jeremy Uden, one of our project conservators, who is stabilising the painted layers and cleaning off the very badly discoloured surface varnish. He'll also be stabilising the paint and applying a modern stable varnish so that it can be displayed safely in the new museum. This is the coffin ensemble of Shepinmut. It was one of 30 mummies and 30 coffins which were found in Thebes in 1867 by the then Prince of Wales. I need to take digital photography of everything, including all the damage and mark all the damage that exists already. Then of course there's the analysis of the pigments and, and any tests to see what the adhesive is and where the paint, there's overpaint and that sort of thing. But really the major conservation work is a curatorial decision with conservation input, um, which is based around the tests that we do and um, the pigment analysis and things like that. And what the intention of the object is on display, what story he wants her to tell. I'm working here on an altarpiece. These are the shutters, in fact, from an altarpiece that depicts the Annunciation of the Virgin Mary. It was in a very, very poor condition. The paint and the gesso were hanging off in sheets and there was a lot of losses, particularly at the bottom of the boards. The faces are cleaning up very well. I'm very pleased with this, uh, this little angel here. Beautiful face. So it's going to be really enjoyable working on this angel next year, the hair and the face. I did a cleaning test here originally. This is a unique object in the museum down here, and I think it will really make a wonderful piece of the exhibition. The early phases of the project, which are now completed, have included consolidation of the ground, which is basically pumping resin into all the cavities underground there. As part of the defences of the castle, there were a series of defensive ramparts created which were dug by hand by the Normans actually, it's a Norman keep. Ditch actually sits in where the slot is. During the Middle Ages the slot became infilled and the buildings have been built on that so they're sitting on unconsolidated ground. This structure on the corner here is called the Clocks Gallery because it used to hold a fabulous collection of clocks and the wall which it abuts will also need to be taken down. At present, a lot of the building has been held up by temporary works, that's temporary support to uh, maintain the stability of the building. These were very complicated areas, we were trying to hold parts of the building up whilst demolishing parts of the building adjacent to those areas. Now, well, the building is listed, so you have to have experience of how to deal with a listed building. We found quite a lot of dry rot of uh, floorboards, areas where lintels above windows are completely rotten, uh, just due to the age of the building really. In terms of the project value, 8.1 million the project. Uh, generally we don't really do projects that are less than 5 million and as a sort of general rule, uh, sort of mid 15, 16 million pounds is a normal sized project for us. Uh, one of the key reasons for taking the project on was due to the prestigious nature of the building. Uh, the museum are keen to win awards at the end of the project for the quality of the build and so are we, so we're very keen to make a good job of it. <laughs>